In this video we are going to bring the exciting dialogue of Disco Elysium to life by animating the avatars using Blender and Stable Diffusion. And as a fan of the game, I've always been captivated by the unique art style and engaging dialogue of Disco Diffusion. However, I could not help but feel that there was something missing. That's when I had the idea. What if the avatars in the game could move and speak, like characters in a graphic novel? In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing my workflow on how to use AI tools to create animated characters that match the art style and tone of Disco Diffusion. And first, I'm going to start exploring some techniques for generating lifelike animations for the characters. And the way I'm going to achieve this is, is I'm going to use Omniverse to animate an actor character saying one of my favorite lines from the base game. Then I'm going to stylize it using Stable Diffusion, apply the stylization using EB Synth, and finally, I'm going to use Blender to make the character look and feel like a 2.5D character. And maybe even I'm going to add some volumetric effects, dramatic lighting, and depth of field effects. I'm also going to make a landscape animation using techniques similar to that of my Ghibli style environment tutorial. Be sure to check that video out once you get the chance. I'm going to be using an easy and approachable workflow using DID to generate speaking characters as well in 2.5D, so do not worry if you do not want to use Omniverse. And starting in Stable Diffusion, I'm going to use the Disco Elysium Diffusion checkpoint to generate a character to use in DID to say some of my favorite lines. After I'm satisfied with a particular character, I'm simply going to download it and use it as a narrator. I'm going to pick the pitch and energy of my character. However, uh, one shortcoming of this method is that I'm going to warn you, you only have limited generations, after which you're gonna have to pay. This is why I prefer using Omniverse. But this method is solid too if you want some quick results. And once we're done with the DID website, we're going to move on to Blender. But don't forget to generate depth mass for the entire video using Stable Diffusion's depth extension. Once you're done with that, we're ready to start animating our character in Blender. And once we're inside Blender, the process is very similar to what we did in the Ghibli tutorial. I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier, add a displacement modifier, and afterwards, I'm going to set my depth maps as the displacement textures. To animate the subdivided plane, and in the shading editor, I'm going to use the video that I made from DID as the texture source. From here on, just add a quick material. And we can get pretty good results in EV. And here I am in the shading editor. I'm going to make sure that I put my specular and reflection down uh, so I can add in some lighting and not interfere with the main composition of the picture's colors. And when lighting your scene, make sure the lighting matches the composition and that you do not add shadows to the image. Alternatively, you can use emission if you want to skip the lighting part. And bear in mind that we could have made a 3D actor like in MetaHuman or Character Created 4, just like we did in the previous video. However, that would just overcomplicate an otherwise straightforward process. But if physical animations were involved in this video, I would have definitely used that. Let me know if you guys want to see more AI-assisted animations in the future. And once I'm satisfied, I can start using the camera to animate the sides that I want for my character. Now let me animate my image real quick. I must say I'm liking the results that I'm getting so far. I can get really creative with this. But we're not finished yet. I would like to show you the other method that I'm going to use in this video. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find the next method very interesting. Now let's hop on to audio to interface for me to show you the other method. 
In this program, I'm going to use a WAV file that tells my character what to say and when to say it. And I'm going to control its expression while saying it. I can also modify my character's emotion and even add in some keyframes to come up with the results that I'm looking for. This is a very easy to use program and it's very friendly for beginners. And bear in mind that I'm not going to render out this character, I just want the animation. So it's okay if my character stays in this gray clay material. And after adding a light source, I'm going to render out the video and use it in Blender video editor to turn my video to PNG images that I can use in Stable Diffusion and EV Synth. Blender has a very impressive built-in video editor and compositor, both of which should not be underestimated. And once your video is ready, make sure you set the output to PNGs, because remember, we want to use the images in Stable Diffusion. Also make sure they roll 512 by 512 to make things easier in EV Synth. Now back in Stable Diffusion, I'm going to stylize my actor model to match the Disco Elysium style using ControlNet. I'm going to have a model for the depth, the canny, and the normals. This will ensure that my stylized character matches my, cact my actor. This will ensure that my stylized character matches my actor. And one thing to note about EB Synth is, it's not an AI, it's a program that applies your stylization to your video without it flickering. After which I can use my favorite generations as keyframes to stylize the entire video in EB Synth. Note that I do not have to go back to Blender after this, but you're free to if you want. Just repeat the same steps from the first process. Now let's enjoy the final product. Let's do this tango, pig, detective pig, and detective kuno on the case. We bouncing. Kuno and pig? And you're on my cop frequency too? This is bad. Well, that was it for today's video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. While the animations were amusing to look at, I must admit that... I could not capture the essence of the game's dialogue due to the AI voice generation being bland and not coming anywhere near the game's voice actor talent. Let me know what I could have done better in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.